So I'm going to launch Unity, and uh, we're going to be creating the 2D platform game in Unity. And when you uh, launch Unity for the first time, you're probably going to have to create a Unity account. Uh, again, this will be something that we'll likely do in class together. <clears throat> but you will uh, have this screen when you start things off. And you want to choose 2D here, and we'll call this uh, my platform game. And I have mine saving to Dropbox, to my Dropbox account, but you can set yours up to save at the default location on your desktop. That's fine. Um, and then we're just going to hit Create Project. Now, we wanted to create a folder on our desktop here that's going to save all of our game sprites. So you'll notice um, as Unity's opening, I've already saved a lot of my sprites here from Piskel into my game sprites folder so that I can then bring them into Unity and begin the process of getting them set up for use in my game. So Unity's opening them up, opening up. <clears throat> I'll export, while that's happening, I'll export my final uh, player state. So here I go with my edit button here. And I'm going to choose export and download. And that's a PNG. So it shows up here in my... In the bottom of my screen here, right? AMDG walk. And I just want to drag that into my game sprites folder. And now I'm ready to go back into Unity. And Unity starts me off, and there's nothing in here. I have an assets folder, uh, there's nothing in there. This folder is empty. Here's my inspector. There's an empty stage. This is where I'm going to be creating my level. Uh, and you'll notice at the top, I can toggle between scene mode and game mode. We'll be working mostly in scene mode. My scene is untitled right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is just hit file, uh, save scene as, and I'm going to save this as level one. And so that shows up in my assets folder here. And the other thing I want to do now that I have all my game sprites on the desktop is I'm just going to take my game sprites here and I'm going to pull them into my assets folder. And you'll see that comes right into Unity here. And I can open those up. And there's all the sprites that I exported for use in my game, my different player states. And you'll notice when I fold these little arrows out, I get a sheet that just shows me the three little states here. Well, we have to do some processing of our images in Unity to get them ready for, for use in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this main sprite sheet, right? And over here in my inspector, <clears throat> you'll notice it says sprite mode single. I'm going to change that to multiple since I have more than one picture here in this sprite sheet. So I'm going to change that to multiple. And I'm going to go into the sprite editor and say OK. And I want to go into my slice window and choose automatic slice. And you'll notice that unity tries to anticipate what slices you might want to make out of this sprite and obviously because these are touching one another i only got one slice here when i should have two so i'm going to move this one up to the top of his hat right to there and i'm going to draw a second one click and drag a second box and I always use the corner handles 
with these to size these by the corner handles right and that looks like my whole image is in there nothing's going to get cut off and so I can hit apply and then I can close this box and now you'll notice when I fold that out I get three separate individual states for that little animation and that's what you want to do for each one of your uh, each one of your player states and all of your enemy states and any other graphics that you have in here one thing I'll, I'll say let's do the dead state together uh, for a quick second I'm gonna I'm gonna take the dead state and go sit to multiple and then in sprite editor I'm going to allow this to make its automatic slice but you'll notice that we have three different heights for our for our sprites and what that's going to do is it's going to make it so that this guy when he dies he's going to be up in the air so we want to make them all the same size so i'm just going to look at the height of this first one and i can see here it's 32 is the height so i'm going to click on this next one and I'm going to match that 32 and this one I'm also going to make 32 and now I'll have when he dies he'll lay flat on the ground as opposed to hovering in in space which doesn't really make any sense people don't do that when they die apply and close that window and like I said we'll continue through and do that with all of your graphics